industrial engineering deals with optimizing the design of systems and products and services with the ultimate goal of improving productivity and efficiency. And human factors is an area within industrial engineering that actually looks at optimizing those systems and products and services with the human user in mind. And we have a student organization here at the university, uh, the Human Factors and Ergonomic Society, for which I'm the president. And this is kind of our, um, our human factors family. And we collaborate a lot together. We try to um, plan activities for the department and try to support the human factors students, not only in the IME department, but around the university. Uh, my mother is a cardiologist and my dad was a physics professor, so I grew up with this great appreciation of, of medicine and science and, and I knew somehow that I was going to get into that field some way or another. So I had the opportunity in the summer of 2010 to go to the Hershey Medical Center, specifically the, the endocrinology clinic. I was able to actually collect data from diabetes patients, so the type of adherence that I was looking at was monitoring your blood sugar. So I was able to interact with patients and also the diabetes providers and I came to a better understanding of what their needs were. And So the particular problem that I'm looking at uh, in the healthcare system is patient adherence with treatments. And so this is typically seen as have you taken your pills but it also extends to a lot of other things like diet, and exercise and using remote diagnostic devices such as blood pressure monitors or a blood glucose meter. And that patients who, who are not adherent visit the doctor three times as much annually as patients who are adherent and also have $2,000 more in cost associated with their health care than patients who are adherent. Where there's been several estimates of of what it costs the, the healthcare system to actually attend to these patients and to um, allocate resources to the patients that are not adherent. And these estimates have, have ranged from anywhere between 100 to $300 billion annually in this country. HFBS, uh, which is the organization that I'm involved with, I've had the opportunity to travel to a lot of their annual meetings and they hold them all over the country every year and um, Penn State has been generous to give us funding to send not only myself but several of our members to these conferences recently in San Francisco. Um, several of our members went and um, I was able to present my work um, and we received an award for the best student chapter there. Because my research is so interdisciplinary, I work with a variety of researchers all across the university. Dr. Nephard provides me advisement and a good foundation in the area of healthcare quality. Um, and Dr. Albrecht, who is, is a practicing endocrinologist, provides me a good practical foundation in how the methods that I'm developing might be applied. I was motivated to study adherence because it's one of those human behaviors that you have a hard time getting a handle on. And similarly, there are a lot of other human behaviors in the healthcare system that are hard to define and that impact the lives of the patients and also the healthcare providers. So I hope in the future that I'll be able to expand my research to other chronic conditions and also other health behaviors for the patient and the provider that impact some of the outcomes in, in medicine.